What's up, everybody? I'm Golden Boy, and today we have a great topic. It's gonna to be streaming 101 from your phone. That's right. We're gonna be talking about how you can stream your games on your iPhone to your favorite broadcasting platforms like Twitch, Mixer, and YouTube. And here's the thing. It may sound a little crazy to stream a game from your phone. Who would wanna watch that? Turns out that PUBG Mobile and games like that are super popular on YouTube, and people enjoy watching that kind of content. You have great creators out there making awesome things on a daily basis. And I think that for those of you who may not know, this could be a great 101 course on how to stream a game from your phone, so let's just jump right into it. First, let's go over what you need. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be doing everything off of an iPhone. Now, I know that a lot of you guys are looking at it and saying, is that an iPhone 10? And you are right, yes, it is an iPhone 10. And for you 11 and 11 Pro users out there, don't worry, this will apply to you as well. And for my Android friends, I will find a tutorial and link it in the description so that you can reference that as well. But there are some things here that I think will be very useful for you. Make sure you stick around because I'm sure you'll find one or two things that you can apply to your stream. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a capture card and I'm gonna be using the Elgato HD 60 Plus. Now I do have a 4K 60 Pro in my computer, but I think that most people will have the HD 60 and HD 60 Plus. You wanna have a capture card that has minimal lag. And that is gonna be very important for when you end up playing your game because you're gonna need it for the audio. And we'll jump more into that in a second. And then one of the most important pieces for iPhone users is going to be the HDMI dongle. This is a critical piece of hardware because it allows you to connect the HDMI cable from your Elgato into the dongle and then into your phone and i will make sure to put that and everything else that we talk about in today's video in the description down below i don't know if i have an amazon affiliate link i i mean i i really don't know uh, i'll just put the amazon link down there so you can purchase it if i do have one it'll be there if i don't don't worry about it just go ahead and get the equipment you need so that you can play and stream games on your phone. Now, the idea of streaming on your phone sounds foreign, and that's because for a while it was. I mean, who would wanna watch people play a game on their phone that just seems crazy, right? I mean, it's insane. But here's the thing. So many people watch PUBG Mobile on YouTube on a daily basis. It is one of the most popular games in the world. And then one of my favorite games, COD Mobile, is quickly becoming one of the more popular games on the platform too. There's just a lot of great content out there for mobile gamers. Brawl Stars, Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, Arena of Valor, NBA 2K Mobile, WWE Supercar. There are some great games. And if you care about mobile gaming, this is going to be a great tutorial for you because you probably don't even know that you were capable of doing this. And I'm here to tell you that you are. So now we get to the fun part, connecting all the stuff so that it all works. And it is extremely simple. First, make sure your capture card, and like I said before, I'm using the Elgato HD60 Plus, has a USB 3 connection. Next, you plug in the HDMI cables as you would for your Xbox or PS4, except you'll plug the other end into the Apple HDMI dongle. Now you wanna make sure you're sending power to your phone and that's why you'll need some extra charging cables and it wouldn't hurt to get some long cables too in case you wanna have some extra slack for the outlet. Now you're probably thinking that playing a game with a heavy dongle hanging <laughs> is going to be annoying, but fear not because I have a solution for that and it is this thing right here. This is a lightning in to lightning out extension cable. It doesn't create noticeable lag and you don't have to put strain on the charge charge port for your iPhone. Another piece of hardware that has become rather essential for my setup is this thing right here. It is a cooling fan that also doubles as hand grips for your phone. You may be thinking, well, why would I wanna turn my phone into a controller? Isn't that like not the point of all this? But having a fan on the back of your phone is very crucial because if you leave your phone connected, to the lightning port or charging, whatever it may be, your phone can overheat and you will see some frame drops. So you wanna be mindful of that. Also, don't charge your phone the entire time. You can connect it and reconnect it, it's okay. You wanna keep that battery going, that's fine. Make sure you take breaks as well, five to 10 minutes, just to get a little bit of a charge in there, simply because your phone will overheat and the fans will help keep the phone as cool as it could possibly be without it being actually inside of
of the phone. Now, once you do all that, it's time to turn on Streamlabs OBS. That's the software that I use, but this also works for OBS Studio and XSplit since they all function basically the same way. When you're streaming on your phone, you don't have the same resolution like you would on an Xbox or PS4 or Nintendo Switch. It's not gonna take over the entire display for your stream. So you will have some black space, some dark space there. You wanna be mindful of that, put something in the background just so that this way you don't have that dead space there because no one really likes to see that. Make sure you put a background like a PNG image or a JPEG image, just something there. If you have a moving image in the background, that's also a plus. For me, I just use a regular JPEG image. I put that in the background. It looks good. Basically, it's good enough. And now it's time to get into the tricky part, and that is audio. I've tried many solutions, but it's best to use the monitor feature on Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio, which outputs the audio to your stream and your headset. Otherwise, you won't be able to hear gameplay, and really that's not fun for anyone. Now, there might be some other solutions out there, and I'm sure that some people have found other ways, maybe even better ways, to get the audio from their phone into their headsets. I just haven't really found that yet, and I stream games from my phone a fair amount. But if you have another solution, please, I implore you, share it in the comment section down below. I would like to look at this not just as me telling you what to do, but as all of us continuing to learn what to do so we can make streaming from your phone that much better. Once you've set all this up, all you gotta do is go live. Simple as that. Make sure you have your webcam positioned and use some of that dead space and take advantage of it. Maybe put your chat there, put some event notifications there. There's some little details that you can add that will make the experience look a little bit better and look a bit more complete. Rather than you just putting on your phone, your webcam, and then a bunch of blank space there, you wanna add a little bit. This way that it won't seem as if you didn't put any effort into your stream. And you'll be shocked to know that a lot of people when they're scrolling through Twitch or YouTube or Mixer, they look for the graphics, they look to see if you have that clean streaming experience. So this way, you kind of have a little bit of that and you can also add a bit of your own personality too. Some other tips I wanna point out too is make sure you put your phone on do not disturb mode because you don't want notifications showing up when you're playing your games. Lord knows we don't want people to know about the butt cream you bought on Amazon. That's your problem, not mine. But that's it. If there's anything I'm forgetting, feel free to let me know in the comment section once again, because this is more of a growing experience. There are a lot of ways to stream games on your phone, and a lot of people have ways that work for their setup. And that is an important thing to note, right? Because this is about your setup and what works for your broadcast. I'm just giving you the framework of things that worked for myself that allowed me to be able to stream games like Brawl Stars and COD Mobile and have minimal issues. And for those of you guys who are playing COD Mobile and want to know good button layouts that will help you out when you're in game i will make sure i link a video that i made with some tips and tricks on how to make that button layout work for you feel free to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to catch more videos from myself and like the video if you found it helpful if you didn't find it helpful eh, i tried stop by my discord to keep the conversation going i'm golden boy thank you so much for watching and i hope you found this helpful keep on streaming peace